Come with us as we explore Illinois. We're so excited to be bringing you this beautiful home today. It has some of our favorite architectural features like fish scale shingles, bay windows, a three quarter wraparound porch, and so much more. We can't wait to take you inside and show off everything this beautiful home has to offer for the right caretaker. Best of all, her most important features haven't been ruined in the last 100 and 20 years. Better still, she sets on a block completely surrounded by homes of the same period. So walking down this street is like taking a step back in time. Welcome back to Preservation Travels with Lane and Kevin here at our Restoration Nation. Today, we are in beautiful Granite City, Illinois. Yes, we finally came north just for you. And do we have an architectural gem to show you today at a rock bottom price. Let's not miss the fact that this Granite City gem is founded in granite. So let's go inside and take a look at this beauty. Well, this Granite City beauty is full of its original architectural details. Yes, she needs a cosmetic facelift. She needs it badly. But the beauty is she hasn't been ruined. And we can see that here in this gorgeous original stair with this beautiful oak volute. It's got egg and dart and reed and ball detailing. It's never been painted on its beautiful panel work. To me, this beautiful piece alone is worth the purchase price of this Illinois Stunner. Look at this beautiful unpainted woodwork. You can never get this glow back once the wood's been painted. I do want to say forgive the way I'm dressed. We're here in Southern Illinois in August and this house currently has no working air conditioning. There's a unit here, but it's not on. So we are sweltering. So sorry about this. You should see the cameraman, he's dripping. But I do want to point out this home has all of its original windows. That is an incredible value in this great space. Again, she just needs some cosmetic love on your part. I can tell walking through this house, the foundation is in excellent shape. The wiring has a new electrical box. It has HVAC run in it. So what it needs is for you to come in, take out all of the dirt and the garbage and make her beautiful once again. My favorite, a gorgeous pocket door that spans the entire width of this opening. This one is pine, but a lot of the wood down here in the main floor is oak. The original hardware still remains and still functions. But there's a special treat in this dining room. Well, here she is, the gorgeous cherry wood mantle. You see she's got her ionic columns with this beautiful volute with egg and dart detail, dental molding, her original beveled glass, and the hearth has its original tile. This is not the original tile, but because you know what was here, I have a perfect source for you to find replacements for here, as well as its gorgeous original summer screen.
Look at the glow that remains on this wood to this day. And this is after this home has been unoccupied for months. Can you imagine what it would look like after you give it just a little bit of a polish? Next to the ladies' parlor, we have the dining room, another large space with great natural light and more beautiful unpainted woodwork. Better still, the plaster in this house is in exemplary condition. Look at all these raised panel doors that you won't have to pick paint out of. The butler's pantry has access to a full basement. It's cluttered now, but it would make the perfect space for projects for your rehabilitation. And you have an original laundry sink. Now let's go into the space where you're going to spend the most money on your rehabilitation, the kitchen. For the most part, this kitchen will need to be gutted. It has seen a lot of abuse, but it is magnificent space with gorgeous natural light and it already has a fantastic layout. So you can follow the plan that's already here and recreate your own space with new cabinetry, new countertops, and have a beautifully functional kitchen that overlooks a gorgeous back garden. And there's even room for a breakfast nook. That's a real bonus in a home of this age. We still have the original back door with its raised panels, wavy glass, and original Eastlake style hardware. A mudroom exits to the back garden. This yard is lush and green and full of old growth vegetation. It just needs someone to clean it up and love it a little bit. But there's such opportunity here for entertaining with this gorgeous brickwork and these huge trees. This is a big lot for an in-city home. And you already have a koi pond built in and a great little storage shed. Alley access allows you off-street parking should you choose to use that. Here we have the servant stairs which are worn down from years of feet going up and down their treads. And at the bottom of the service stairs, we have our downstairs powder room, ideally positioned for ease of use. That shade is definitely of the period. And here's another look at that incredible woodwork in the entryway. Let's take a peek at the upstairs. We are so excited to have MyHeritage sponsoring this episode. I took the MyHeritage DNA test to find out my ethnic background and match me with newfound relatives. This is the most affordable DNA test on the market, and I cannot wait for Lane to see the results. She's going to be blown away. Okay, Lane, I can't wait for you to see this. Click on the DNA results and see where I come from. Should we take bets? Because I want you to be a Viking. I already know. I bet you're just old, good old white bread British. Hang on. Say what it is. Scandinavian, forty-four percent. Forty-four percent Scandinavian. <laughs> you believe that? My Viking. I told you. <laughs> My Heritage is the leading global service for family history research and DNA testing. Trusted by ninety million users, My Heritage not only makes building your family tree a simple and enjoyable activity, it also gives you access to powerful tools that can help you research your family history and grow your tree. My Heritage is home to more than 18 billion easily searchable historical records, as well as advanced AI technology for repairing, enhancing, colorizing, and animating historical photos. Sign up for a 14-day free trial and enjoy all the amazing features that My Heritage has to offer. Buy your DNA kit here. Use our coupon code for free shipping. 
As an added bonus, you can start a 30-day free trial of My Heritage's best subscription for family history research and enjoy a 50% discount if you decide to continue it. Currently, this upstairs is three bedroom, one bath. This being the first bedroom that has, in my opinion, the most magnificent space for a child's imagination to run wild here under the stairs rising to the third floor. This period light fixture has gorgeous Greek key design around its pressed glass shade. This room that's being used as a library would make a perfect main bedroom. We have three windows for gorgeous natural light and this incredible quarter sawn oak mantelpiece. We know that this was originally used as a bedroom because that mirror to the left of the mantelpiece is known as a dressing mirror and it has its original fire screen. The detail on this mantelpiece with its beveled glass is absolutely stunning. And this is a plenty of room for a main bedroom because it connects to this ancillary room that right now is being used as a transitional space, a bit of a closet, a bit of a storage area, but could be converted beautifully into a main bath. There's plumbing run to the room next door, so converting that space to a bathroom would be very simple. And this is where those servant stairs rise, up the back of the house, and another great period light fixture. This is currently the only bath in the upstairs. It does retain its original clawfoot tub, but other than that, it is also going to require a lot of work. And the third bedroom upstairs. The video is a little deceiving on the size of the rooms. They're actually quite large and very functional. So if you made your main suite on this floor, you'd have two bedrooms and your main suite. Now, let's take a look at the third floor. Here we have these gorgeous original windows, again, never painted, an enormous space, which could be converted to a master suite or additional bedrooms. These are the original dust catchers in the corner of the stair rise. Those are so unusual. And here's a little peek at Darling Granite City. This is a beautiful home that was lovingly maintained for many, many decades. It's had a couple of difficult years in the past, but all of the elements remain for it once again to be the show place that it was when it was built in 1900. All this front porch needs is a porch swing and a glass of tea for you to enjoy the view up and down the beautiful street on which this gorgeous home resides. We hope you've enjoyed this tour of this beautiful Illinois Century home. She is a true fixer-upper, a diamond in the rough. Three bedroom, two bath, a third floor that could be converted into a main suite, a full basement, 2,070 square feet heated and cooled right now for $107,500. If this is your home and you wanna be the person to turn this lady back into the gem she once was, the contact information for the realtor and the Zillow listing are in the description below. Remember, we're not realtors. We have nothing to do with the listing of the home. We're just showing you a great opportunity to buy your dream house and do your own fixing up. 
Remember, if you have questions about how to finance your fixer upper home and the restoration all at one time, be sure to check out our book on financing your fixer upper on our website, ourrestorationnation.com. It gives you all the insider information on how to get that done in one quick loan. And if you want to watch us doing some hard work on our own fixer uppers, make sure you check out our series, Restoring Our Victorian. We'll see you next time.